Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to solve this rather awkward looking exponent problem. Okay, let's start by dividing everything by 16 to the power of x. So we get 16 to the x over 16 to the x plus 12 to the x over 16 to the x equals 9 to the x divided by 16 to the x. Now this first term here reduces to 1 plus. Now we can reduce this to 3 divided by 4 all raised to the power of x. This uses rule number 1 up here. And similarly this reduces to 9 over 16 to the power of x. Now, 9 can be rewritten as 3 squared, and 16 can be rewritten as 4 squared. And that's all still to the power of x. And again, using rule number 1, we can rewrite this as 3 divided by 4 squared, all to the power of x. Or alternatively, 3 divided by 4, all to the power of x, squared. Here I've just swapped the powers around in accordance with rule number 2. So you can see that we now have 3 quarters to the power of x, all squared. And on the other side, we have a 3 quarters to the power of x. Therefore, if we let u equal 3 quarters to the power of x, then we can rewrite this as 1 plus u equals u squared. Or, rearranging, u squared less u equals... 1. So we now simply have a quadratic equation that we need to solve. Now I could just plug this into the quadratic formula, but for a change I'm going to use the completing the square method. So I'm going to take the coefficient here, which is 1. I'm going to halve it and square it. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. So plus half squared. Having done that, the left hand side easily factorises and it becomes, we take this u, we take this sign and we take this half and that's all squared and that equals 1 plus half squared which is a quarter. We can now take the square root of both sides, so this gives us u minus a half, and this equals the square root of 5 over 4. u therefore equals a half plus or minus the square root of 5 over 4, or u equals one half plus or minus root five over root four, which is root five over two. If we now substitute back in three quarters to the power of x for u, this equals, and we can rearrange this as one plus or minus root five all over 2. Now to deal with this power of x we simply take the log of both sides. So this becomes log of 3 quarters and the x I'm going to bring down in front and this equals the log of 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2. 
Now notice that this can be plus or minus. But if it's a negative, then all of this evaluates to a negative number. And you cannot have the log of a negative number. Therefore, this negative sign is invalid. So now we just have to divide both sides by log of 3 quarters. And we get that x equals the log of 1 plus root 5 over 2, all divided by the log of 3 quarters. And that's our answer. Not a nice round clean number, but sometimes that's what you get. So not too bad in the end. Hope you found that interesting. See you tomorrow.